In this video, you'll be learning about some of the hottest SaaS products. Whether you're looking for inspiration or just to see what types of products are out there, I have you covered in this video and I really think you'll like number three. So the first product we're gonna take a look at is called Den, and it's where humans and agents work. So it's an AI Slack alternative that helps teams get more done using general purpose agents. And so the founders believe in the future of work 2.0, where humans work at the speed of thought and alongside their AI counterparts. So it was founded by Justin and Linus, and they built this because they grew tired of Slack and Notion. So they built Den, the first AI native communication and documentation platform that help teams get more done. They currently have almost 3,000 people on the wait list. They just launched in 2025, but we can see from their product preview here that it looks to have an AI assistant on the right. And if you've used Cursor AI at all, this looks quite similar here as you have the assistant here or agent that helps you complete tasks. Next up, we have Octor. And it lets you close a deal, nail the implementation, and repeat that process. And so it's used by leading solution engineers, system integrators, and professional services teams. So it's an AI agent that's going to capture requirements, generate aligned artifacts, and streamline discovery to deployment, turning weeks into hours. So it's following that really common theme that AI has taken so much of pre-existing work that was time consuming and took a lot of effort and it's really speeding that up and simplifying the process. So this tool allows you to 10x your workflows, prove value, win revenue and deliver fast. So it's going to make it super easy to capture customers' business and technical requirements and auto-generate aligned SOWs and work plans and create downstream documentation. And so far, their initial users love it. And it's an all-in-one engine to deliver faster, cleaner, and more aligned software developments. There is four founders here, Matthew, Anthony, Janan, and William. Next up, we have Cynthia Labs. And so they're building AI teammates for pharma. Their first teammate, Nexa, is an AI medical reviewer that helps pharma med directors review marketing materials faster with fewer errors and at significantly lower cost. So Nexa is an expert on FDA guidelines, therapeutic area literature. So if you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you want to build your very own SaaS or micro SaaS product. And that's what we have you covered with my step-by-step -step academy that's going to show you how to build, scale, and profit from your own micro software as a service product. Even if you don't have any product ideas, funding, or SaaS experience. And it has 8 plus hours of video and $500 plus of free bonuses. So make sure you check it out in the link in the description below. Or if you just want some micro SaaS ideas, I have some sneaky ideas you can steal for free. All you have to do is enter in your email. Again, there's a link in the description below. And your brand strategy that can autonomously review content 24 seven. So there's three active founders here, Subrit, Sahida, and Rajashikar. And so it's AI agents tailored for every stage of the product lifestyle from discovery to commercialization. And it looks like they just started with Nexa here and it build more agents from there. And so we can see some of them that they've started on from LR review automation, from claims validation, medical accuracy, collaboration, and integrations with CMS. They also have a commercial agent. So it's agentic AI oncology digital representation. So you can reimagine HCP engagement with AI agents, your HCP reach with compliant always on sales reps. Now quite a few acronyms there, but it's really helping to speed up that process. So what they've done to really step up their AI agents is they've built them on top of comprehensive and multifaceted data. We can see 400,000 plus clinical trials, 200 million plus medical publications, and 5.1 billion plus claims. So it's quite a bit of data they've trained their AI agents on, or at least built them on top on. Next up, we have Rimba. It was founded by Timothy, and it's a co-pilot for compliance teams to gather, analyze, and manage data for reporting and audit. So you can simplify compliance for renewable fuel projects. So it's going to use AI powered for monitoring, reporting, and verification for projects such as RNG, RD, ethanol, and SAF. So it's an all-in-one tool here and it's supported for multiple compliance frameworks. So it's going to 10x your response rate and save you 15 to 20 hours a week with 80% of the risk eliminated from missed data, ensuring maximum environmental credit value. In terms of their target customer, it's suppliers, producers, and off-takers in the bioenergy industry. And they're going to process various types of data, including bills of landing or lading, electricity bills, flow meter readings, and a chromatograph 
data. Next up, we have WaveDash. So it's an end-to-end -end video game development platform that automates expensive R&D workflows, saving studios time and money, helping them create and distribute better games faster. It was founded by Kyler, Raymond, and Matthew, and it creates a playable build every time that you push new code. So you can share your game with anyone at any stage of development and make something that people actually want to play. And this was built because the process of playtesting video games is so complicated that most developers forego it completely. So it's going to remove all excuses and make sharing a playable build as easy as sharing a screenshot. All you have to do is connect your project repository and WaveDash will ensure that the latest version of your game is ready to share with anyone. Plus, you get customizable download pages, interactive 3D box art, and extensive analytics, as well as integrated playtester feedback and automated AI pull requests. So currently it supports and different build targets as well as GitHub. So this concludes the video. We looked at five really cool SaaS products. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.